Hello everyone, this is Jean McDonald and I'm here for Transition Tip Tuesday. What I mentioned in my newsletter last night was a quote from a book called, quote from a book called um, The Greatest Salesman in the World. It was written by Og Mandino, the, the great um, insightful person. And in that book, I learned one of the first tips was, and the one that's ingrained in my head the, the most, is live each day with love in your heart. Think about that. You know, start your day and live each day with love in your heart. Start from a place from love. Thinking about that book got me thinking, where did I first hear that book? And it was from a course I was taking. I had just left my career in science. I was working as a showroom manager at a interior design showroom. It was wholesale and retail. So I worked with a lot of interior designers. And I was interested for the first time in my life of starting my own business. And there was, I forget if it was a course or a program that you could be self-employed by selling art to hotels and businesses. They were the prints, the things that you see in a typical hotel room. Well, it would be going out and had a catalog of the prints, had a way to secure them to the walls so they couldn't be stolen. And that was the whole business. Well, part of the course included a list of books to read and one of the books was this book called the greatest salesman in the world by og mandino and that book made an influence on my life that first business did not go well i learned a lot about money and being an entrepreneur i actually never sold any art but i did get paid for being a consultant with an interior designer, going into a business, looking at the art that they already had and suggesting to the designer some possibilities on how to um, effectively display that art. So it was my first, very first paid gig as an entrepreneur. And with that business, it was the last time I got paid for it. There were and when I was thinking about that experience last night after I wrote the um, the email, I thought about the other books that I read for the first time because of that course. And one of the books um, is, you see it, The Magic of Thinking Big. And this book is, who is it by? I don't even know, Schwartz, David J. Schwartz. Get it in there. <laughs> Here it is. Anyway, uh, I have a couple versions of this. You can actually find this. Um, I, I, I find copies all the time in Goodwill where I look for business books. Anyway, the magic of thinking big was there were exercises in that book where you wrote down your dreams and your goals and I had them actually hand typed, typed on a typewriter on these little three by five cards. And I read these goals, these aff affirmations every day, month after month, I probably for at least a year. And it's interesting how it helped create that belief that I could do this. I could become an entrepreneur. I could do some of these things I wanted to do despite being so introverted. And that was one of my biggest, um, greatest limitation at that time, my greatest limiting belief that an entrepreneur could not be intro introverted, that I couldn't go out and learn how to help others, um, sell my services, so to speak, and still be an entrepreneur, so, or still be an introvert. That's what I'm trying to say. So the magic of thinking big, 
the other book and i've read this book usually um um i used to read it about every two years now it's already been about five years since i read it cover to cover but that was the first time i found this book I'm trying to get it in the same. think and grow rich napoleon hill's classic and this book was written initially let's see in 1937 this book was written and it's advice ideas perspective that are unchanging you know um it, it, it there's a little bit of sexism in there because of when it was written but the basic wisdom is still there Looking at the magic of thinking big, this was written in 1959. So these books are older books. And the book by Ogmandino, I can't find my copy today. I, I was out looking for it this morning, couldn't find it. But these books, even though they're written decades and decades ago, still hold great wisdom that we can learn from today. So my transition tip for today is if you're starting a trend, new transition, especially if it involves um, going into a new career, into a new job, into a new unknown that you're excited about, you're passionate about, but you might not have all your skills in place yet, these books will really help you. So take the time. I'm sure they're on audiobooks. At least Napoleon Hill is. Um, but but find these books, use these use the wonderful insights from them. So that's today's transition tip. Find out more about what I do as a transition coach at jeanmcdonald.com. I look forward to learning more about you and your transitions. And 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 visit talk to me talk to me because I would really be interested in knowing more about what you're going through and how I can help. So with that, take care. Bye.